The perennials, Lady Gaga, Tony Bennett, Ellen DeGeneres, Malala, Oprah Winfrey, Elisa Kamahort Page, and Sam Ski. All of these people share a perennial mindset, which I describe as pushing up against your growing edge and transforming yourself and in turn transforming the world. Last night when I met a lot of you, I realized you're all perennial. I think that I'm basically preaching to the choir when I talk about people who believe in a growth mindset. We're constantly learning new things. A lot of us have learned to use Photoshop, to code, to use Snapchat. Well, let's not get carried away. Um, <laughs> But you know, I, so I coined this term perennial, and, and I did that for two reasons. One is because I was sick of hearing people trash talk uh, millennials. You hear the word millennials, and it's like a, you get a Pavlovian response. I say millennials, and what word comes to mind? Entitled, which is bullshit because they used to say the same thing about slacker Gen Xers, you know? And, um, and it's just a stereotype, and stereotypes are really dangerous. And so I, so I was sick of hearing people trash talk millennials. And second, I, I was also annoyed at this weird alienating trend of brands to claim that they make products for millennials. We make news for millennials, shoes for millennials, even, even snacks for millennials. And for those of us who are outside of the millennial timeline, which is roughly 1982 to 2000, well, I guess no snacks for us. And, <laughs> And, and just in case you guys are wondering, I was born before 1982, not after 2000. I'm a little older than 17. Um, but you know, I had a friend who said, okay, so who cares? So what about this perennial thing? Isn't that just another label? And my answer to that is, is no, it's a framework. It's a mindset and it's a way of looking at the world and looking at ourselves. Being perennial is about finding connections between ourselves, the world, and other people. And, you know, we can have these assumptions about each other and, and maybe not talk to each other. But once we actually start talking to each other, we, we're like, wow, she's pretty cool and that's pretty interesting. And that is at the cornerstone of being a perennial, is curiosity. Being curious, asking yourself, what am I curious about? And asking other people, what are they curious about? And so maybe most of you here can relate to being a perennial, um, which I wouldn't be surprised. But for those of you who are on the fence, or for people who don't quite feel perennial, and there's a lot of people who don't feel perennial, they get to a place in life and they go, you know what, I'm good here. Okay, so I got married and now I'm good. I'm just gonna raise my kids. And I, God, I don't, I don't wanna wear a mini skirt. I don't go dancing anymore. You know, there's a lot of people who just park in life. They, they get to a certain point. They, they live their life on this timeline and, they, and, and they're cool where they are. And that's fine, that's fine. But to activate perenniality, as I call it, it all starts with asking yourself, what are you curious about? And, and well, why, why do we care about being perennial? Or what, what is this perennial business all about? It's because when you ask other people what they're curious about, or ask yourself what you're curious about, or talk to other perennials, it's, it's energizing. I have an action item for you <laughs> today, an ask for when you leave here, and that is to Share your curiosities with each other. It, now you have something to approach somebody else with. Like, what are you, what are you curious about? And to share what, what, what you are curious about. And I think that you'll see that you'll open up a lot of possibilities for yourself by reaching out there to other perennials. I don't have a lot of time left, but um, I, I do have enough time for like a small personal anecdote. And that is, you know, people go, oh, okay, so you're ever blooming, you're always growing, good for you. You know, but it's not always like that. Being perennial doesn't mean that you're always in bloom and you're always just thriving. Um, I, I have started, uh, you know, quite a few companies, and, um, and and a lot of people look at me and they go, "Wow, you're an internet entrepreneur from San Francisco. That's 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 so fancy, or that's you're so successful." And, you know, no, I I haven't to this day. I I I still feel like I'm I'm making it up and and still trying. You know, and there's moments when I feel. Like, what the hell am I doing? Can I really do this? Um, and, which is completely normal. And there was a time in between gigs where I, uh, you know, I didn't know what I was going to do next. And I t it's, it's funny because I'm standing on the stage talking about being perennial and I'm ageless and you don't have to worry about how old you are or how relevant you are. But uh, I found myself in between gigs and I, I actually started wondering, like, should I go get a job as a creative director with a company? Um, do I still have what it takes to work for some cool, edgy company after 40? Do I have 
the drive that it takes to, to start another startup. And a friend called and she, she asked, it was two o'clock in the afternoon, I had been out, out of work for maybe six months, and she's like, what are, what are you doing? And I actually had to tune in to what I was doing. Um, and I looked down and I was wearing a tennis skirt and there was a half drunk bottle of Chardonnay and I was doing a, a, a jigsaw puzzle at two o'clock in the afternoon. And the disturbing thing about this is that I hadn't played tennis, like I, I played tennis the morning before. And, you know, and, and so, <laughs> I, you know, I was like, wow, I really better get my act together and do something. And so what I did to pull myself out of this dormant stage, which is totally normal as a perennial, it, it's all about you'll be back, um, was to ask myself, well, what am I curious about? All right, so, so I don't need to answer what am I going to do next, but what am I curious about? And at that time, I was curious about learning how to code, and so I went on to Code Academy, and I just gave myself two hours a day where I was going to learn JavaScript. And so this is, this is what I offer to people who, you know, who, who feel like maybe they once were a perennial, um, who are on the fence about whether they are a perennial, is to activate that curiosity. Curiosity is not enough. It has to be productive curiosity. With that, I ask you to ask each other and to connect with each other on your own perenniality. Thank you.